In Fayetteville, whether you drive, bike, walk, or use public transit, changes may soon be coming to the downtown area. KNWA's Katie Davila is live at the Fayetteville Town Hall with what the city is doing to make traffic and parking more user friendly. Katie. Jennifer, a transportation committee meeting is about to take place at 5:30 here at the Fayetteville City Hall, where they will be discussing parking issues and how they can help traffic in nearby neighborhoods. Parking is kind of the, the front door of a person's visit to Fayetteville, and so we want that to be a pleasant experience. After a nearly two-year study, nine new improvements have been made to improve parking in Fayetteville, adding flexibility to parking permits, increasing signs, improving bike racks, and providing stronger and friendlier customer service are all a part of the plan. Nobody really comes into the downtown area to park. They come to the downtown area to do something, and parking is something that they have to do. So we want to make it as easy as we can uh, and help them with that. Over 1,500 parking spaces are available in the entertainment district, but Clay says consistency is needed. There's a significant supply, um, and, and I think it's our job to you know, educate people on exactly where those parking spaces are, what the regulations are, if they are different. City engineer Chris Brown also says it is dedicated to meeting all of the public's needs, like major upcoming projects with the transportation bond program. Making decisions about what to work on over the next 10 years and what we should put out to our citizens to vote on, uh, I think is an important topic. Now there's also talk of converting the public parking lot across from the Walk Art Center into an entertainment corridor. But the public or the parking management, excuse me, tells me that the mayor wants to ensure that all parking issues are taken care of before they put those plans in place. Again, that meeting is taking place at 5:30 here at City Hall, and they encourage all of the public to come out and listen to those proposed plans. Live in Fayetteville, Katie Devilla, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.